Hello, my name is Malikara, nice to meet you and welcome back to Stains Gate, Linear Bonded Venogram. Why I always do like punches when I say the, the title? I, 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 I sometimes don't understand myself. <laughs> uh, I'm always excited, I'm like I'm getting so excited every time I'm starting this for like... Okay, this is like kind of the second time I start the world line, but every time we start... The point here is that every time we go in here, I'm saying like I we have already done this like, I don't know, five times in this world line, but it's not like that. But let me finish the sentences. It's like I'm kind of near, get near to staying get zero. <laughs> but it's also kind of sad because it's like by phenogram. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's go. Ah. I'm back, I'm back too, nah. We back. Together. We are at okay, shut up myself. I got home pretty late. It had been a busy day late. This may actually be the first time I have gotten home this late since I started living at the Kiha household. Daru said he will be sleeping over in the lab for a while. I'm worried that the agents will find him, but after he mentioned how hard it will be to fit through that thin, tiny window again, I agreed to leave him there. Yeah, and we don't want to see that scene again. Okay, but don't ground me. Aunt kind greets me. Uncle Yukitaka is still at work, though. Normally we had already finished eating dinner by now. Aunt Chikane must have waited for me to come home. Feeling bad, I hurry to change my clothes. My uniform is dirty than I thought. <laughs> Why I got excited by hearing her? <laughs> I haven't seen her kind of almost in all time <laughs> war lines. <laughs> what the <laughs> I love you. It's Rumiho. Rumiho, that's how you say it, right? Stop pointing that out, everybody. Rumiho is different. She's always wears a cat ear hairband and stick nyans and nyans at the ends of things. She told me before that she's been in character ever since becoming the Rainnet Access Battle Champion. But I feel like that isn't a good reason to say nyan nyan all the time. I wonder if she talks like this when she's working at the at her company. Kami. I hurry try to brush whatever it is out. I hope it's not a spider web that'd be so gross. I want to hurry up and take a bath. <laughs> I wonder if people thought Darwin and I were on a date when we were walking around town. That would be awful. I quickly turn away from Rumiho, pretending like I'm really focused on changing my clothes. I lied. I wonder why. Rumiho 
私いつもは部活でヘトヘトだよにゃふふそうだったにゃさあ早く手を洗ってくるにゃママがお待ちかねだにゃうん After watching r o o m i Home really leaving the room, I let out a small thing. It's impossible to lie to her. Alright. She can see through even the smallest lie. But still, it's not like Daru said I shouldn't tell anyone what I did. Besides, r u m i h o was a lab man too. She must have gotten along with Daru, Okarin, and the others. I guess that means I probably should have told her. So, why did I decide to lie? Okay, let's go and tell her. I slide my body through the narrow bathroom window. One wrong step would have me falling face first into the toilet, so I have to be careful. If only I could set up some sort of safety foot hold, even something thrown together would help. But I guess I should have released how inconvenient it is to enter and exit through the bathroom. And even worse, what if Daru was on the t o i l e Don't think that. <laughs> I open the window, I don't know what that I do. That would be the absolute worst. I don't even want to think about it. Don't mention it. Daru's large body is sprawled out on the sofa. I thought he was sleeping, but. I don't know. He senses my presence and quickly sits up. Oh, yeah. Yesterday he handed me money and asked me to buy food. It seems Daru intends to work in here for a while without a living, which made going shopping my job. <laughs> I only have seven yen in change. When I try to hand it to him, I don't want him thinking a mere s e v e n yen is enough to make us even, anyway. <laughs> I put the shame on top of the table. Kuroki actually called a call. He's out of action, and I can't believe I told him to go home and rest. Tell him to, to rest. Ho ho! Tsumari JC no Tezkri Bento, Furumate Moreiru Kano Sega Bidezon. Oh my god, Daru, stop it. Bide? As usual, Daru is making a big deal over something unimportant. Then he opens up a convincing store bento and start eating. Is it even good, Cole? Ah,、uh, so so. This, ah,、uh, Nai Chan Shini. I thought that were the other things. No, I think it's gonna be stuff parts. I bought enough snack and meals to last two or three days. I see, that stuff isn't going to buy itself after all. Okay, 
それと Wait. Oh my god. Taro. They, they, they really needed to put this in here. It's kinda un, un, corf, un, uncomfortable. Un, uncomfortable. Whatever. I mean, sending night to buy this. I mean, put this in Daru's warline and he goes and whatever and we laugh maybe, but this is kinda. Oh my god. I have been fooled. I'm at a shop for books called Oyunshi in the Otaku Holy Land of Nakano. I have never been to a place like this. I'm so embarrassed. All the customers are men. On the shelf at the back there are tons of books lined up with pictures of girls in little poses. Their shopping list can be divided into three basic categories. First are parts. This could be found in Akihabara, and thanks to Daru's detail list, I was able to buy them all without any issue. Ah, the parts, okay. The second are do-it-yourself hobby tools. Things like saws and pliers. And the last one... I thought he was pretty irresponsible, making me buy the Yunshi at a time like this. But I didn't want him to keep me from sending an email because I didn't do as he asked. But now that I have made it all the way to Nakano. Ugh. If it was going to be like this, I would have told him no. I shouldn't have believed him that it would be okay just because it's not porn. It's my first time visiting a store like this, so I had no idea what to expect. Even if the book that wants is not por pornography, there are tons of pervert things being sold here. With all of these gross books, so I'm supposed to find the one he wants. I don't feel very confident. What should I do? I couldn't go any further inside. I stood right at the entrance, staring at the floor. It seems like one of the employees keep glazing over at me. I'm a kid, no matter how you look at me, I may end up being scolded for visiting a place like this. That would probably make this easier. It would be a good reason for me not to buy Daru's book. Still, if I go back empty handed, Daru may think that I am useless. That would be bad too. I don't want people to think I'm useless just because I'm a kid. If I can handle a little shopping... Yes. Oh my god. I'm 100% going to buy those books and bring them back. After taking myself up, I raised my head and head straight to the counter. I looked to the male employee straight in the eyes which seemed to startle him. I feel my face growing bright red, but I can't worry about that now. The other customer are staring at me surprised too, but I can't worry about that either. The employee's smile is stiff. I'm sure my face is stiff too. Oh, it's done. That wasn't necessary. <laughs> Freaking Daru. I feel exhausted considering I only went shopping. Uncle Daru was so underhanded. He was definitely trying to tease me. Isn't it, is it because I forced him to let me help? But I won't back down, no matter what. Take it. Ah, it was a joke. When I hold out the dojo, that looks very surprised. Yeah. 
シャラップだろ。人にはできないことを平然とやって抜ける。そこにいい Dar ignores the parasite both for him to read over the doujinshi. Worse yet, he's saying words, oh my god. I mean... I know that is Daru, right? We know that is Daru. But what bothered me is like he's kinda doing this stuff in front of me. It's like no like this could be put I don't know but Daru's war line and that's it and when he's alone or whatever. But now he's here, Daru. Oh my god. <laughs> To me, that looks like a strange animal. There's nobody this weird at my school. The thought never crossed my mind two years ago. I didn't know he was so ridiculous. Also, back then, I couldn't really handle Ocarina or Daru, so I avoided talking to them. That's probably why I didn't get to know them. But I knew back then that he'd be hard to deal with. You could say it's inst instinctual repulsion. If Daru was a friend around my age, I'd break off the friendship instant. <laughs> but it's not that bad if I look at this like fantasy. Like the white rabbit that Alice met. Or maybe more like Peter Pan, who appeared at the Wendy's home house. That's what that's what kind of person Uncle Daru is to me. Hmm. Does he actually mean that? I feel like I was I w like I was my Saturday, right before test start. No less. Let's get back, let's sleep, let's do everything to be tomorrow. Two years ago, after that funeral ended, I was curled up all alone, surrounded by CRT TVs. I don't remember this part at all, but apparently I spent two days without eating or drinking and was on the verge of dehydration. I just thought that dad would come home if I stayed there, so I sat in the shop, waiting the whole time. I kept calling out for him in a quiet voice. I eventually start to lose consciousness. I closed my eyes and everything went black. It felt as though I just kept falling and falling down a huge pit. I started to understand how Alice felt when she was falling with the white rabbit. But I didn't have the strength to scream. I got really scared, thinking that I just keep falling and my body would be torn to pieces. Right then, I hear someone calling to me. When I opened my eyes, Rumiho was there, looking like she was about to cry. Rumiho took me by the hand and welcomed me into the Kiha family. Oh. That really did start working. Oh, yes, finally. Despite spending over two hours powering over all 17 pages of his thin doujinshi the day before. This morning when I came to the lab. There was a small compact microwave at the back of the room. Yeah. 
コリンは来てねえしでも僕らのワルキューレの活動にはさ支援者は結構いるんだよね What? <laughs> What? Half human, half goodness warrior who appear in Norse mythology sometimes referred to as Valkyrs, a uh, single individual, but rather the many. They hold the duty, duty of choosing who lives or dies in battle. Uh, Ragnarok. Okay. I thought it was something. Valkyre? Hmm. Can you do? Sakura me, 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 あんましゃべっちゃダメな決まりになってるんで。It's always hard to tell whatever they're lying or telling the truth. で、その支援者のみんなにさ、今日の朝一番で持ってきてもらったわけ。Okay. いやー、トイレの窓を音立てずに通すのは苦労したお。The parts I bought yesterday are also spread out the room. どれくらいで作れるあんま大きな音立てられんし、夜は光が漏れちゃうから作業できんし、いろいろ考えると、一週間でできればいい方じゃね。一週間。Exams week starts tomorrow. That will let me leave school early than usual, but what about studying for my tests? No, I can study through the night if that's what it takes. I have never stayed up late for a whole week, but I'm sure it will be fine. What do I do? What do I do? Of course, Nai-chan has a job for me. Really? I figure he will just have me go shopping, and I just have to sit around otherwise, so I'm kind of happy to hear that. You have to open the door to open the door to open the door. Oh my god. I'm getting I'm I'm getting mad. <laughs> what the hell? Hirogeru. <sighs> This is not funny. This is gross. Let me tell you that. Whatever, whoever person wrote this part of this war line, it's not funny. It's gross. Matomete, please. Huh. Anate, so kono yuka ni aite rana? Oh. I crunch down in the dim room and look down through the wall in the f in the hall. I can see the stair below, though I guess that's obvious since it doesn't pass all the way through. Today's mission, sir. Brown can't go to the hospital until the story starts. So I'm going to go to the hospital. So I'm going to go. その穴を貫通させて人が通れる大きさまで拡張してもらいたいわけだがしかも音を立てずに So that's why those do it yourself tools were necessary But I feel like it won't be possible without making noise 貫通させて拡張あとはわかるな貫通させて Really? That room? Why did you go to the first place? I didn't want to say anything to you. Daru, shut up. Really? I don't want to say anything to you. I don't want to say anything to you. I don't want to say anything to you. It's not funny, Daru. He's breathing heavily for some reason. I like crafts better than art anyway. Also, I can say that I can do it. Well, I'm going to make a phone call. I'm going to make a phone call. 
That means there's a time limit. It needs to be done by the time Daru finishes his work. Can I even do that? No, I have to. I can't slow things down. The hole luckily avoid the steel frame of the building. If I can cut through the second first floor board, the first floor ceiling boards and any peepees running across, I'd be able to make it downstairs. The problem is using a saw without making noise is pretty difficult. But if I saw too slowly, I won't make any progress. I wonder if there's any trick to it. In the dim room, I look down as I quietly work. <laughs> True, my friends always tell me that I become expressionless when I focus. But telling a girl that she's scary, Uncle Darius the worst, tell me that... Worse still, this room is pretty hot. No, let me correct myself, it's really hot. It's good that I brought work clothes today, I thought I could stand the heat if I had to work in my uniform. But this sweat is still dripping off my forehead, turning into a little puddle on the floor. The windows are all kept closed to prevent the agents from seeing inside, and of course there's no air conditioning. And even if we had an air conditioner, there's no electricity to turn it on. Obviously, this building's power is all shut off right now. I haven't paid the electricity bill in two years after all. Same goes for water and gas. We don't need gas though, and we are using lots of bottled water for everything, including the toilet. Electricity is the one thing we can do anything about. If we use a small generator like they have at festivals, it will make a ton of noise, they'd be sure to hear it from outside. ね。わしはウィド。そもそもないちゃんし、店ねんだから手続きとかは保護者がやらんとダメっしょ。そう。なのかな。あんま、僕がここにいること他の人に知られたくないんだよね。じゃあ、ルミホ姉ちゃんに
でも幸せだったおフェイリスさんは僕の僕だけの恋人でいつでも僕のために対戦する時間を空けてくれたからさラロおじさんとルミホお姉ちゃん恋人だったの<笑>恋人っつうか悲しい運命に引き裂かれた二人っつうかそうなんだ I'm shocked But it's true that Rumiho is a strange girl. Strange people probably fall for other strange people. So this does raise a few questions about her taste in men. Why did Nai-chan know about Fairy's son? I was thinking about Rumiho's mother's house. I was thinking about Fairy's son. Fairy's son? Yes, I'm sorry. Well... あっさり否定とか笑ったそしてナイちゃん氏は毎晩フェイリスさんと同じベッドで眠っているんですねお姉さまとロザリオ交換した、うん、is this some sort of joke? If it is, I should just drop this conversation Pointless talk won't change how hot it is in here The water in the water I bought has already gotten lukewarm. Thank you. Test starts tomorrow. I remember most of the stuff they told us in class, but I still need to do a bit of review to get a good score. After dinner, I try ignoring my sleepness to study a few hours. By the time I look at the clock, it's already after midnight. I could hardly concentrate. My grades may end up lower than they were on the spring exams. If only Darush had shown up one week later. Oh. I move on my own. I should drink some hot tea. When I go out to the living room, Rumihu is there. Rumiho happily walks off into the kitchen. After a while, she brings me hot milk tea. A pleasant scent wafts from the coop. I don't know much about tea, but the milk tea Rumiho makes is delicious. I say those words, Rumiho smiles, takes on a note of sadness. So, Labomania. Masaka Nai, Daronian to Dukoka de Atta no Kanya. Oh, it all so you wakisha. Did she see my eyes? A light again, even though there's no need to hide it. Do I not trust Rumiho? That can't be true. I have talked to her about so many things over the past two years. Without her help, I will probably be living here at the Kiha house with my heart still closed off. So why did I lie to her just now? Is it because I want to be the only one able to send emails? Or I'm afraid that I can be involved anymore if I involve someone else? Look 
恋人ではないな違うの仲は良かったにゃとってもいいお友達だったにゃあ So Daru lied to me But why would he lie about something like that? That's pretty shocking Also it showed me just how sad it is to be lied to I'm sorry Rumiho I don't have to, the right to criticize Daru for what he did Still gloomy I drink another cup of milk tea then go back to the studying I pull the extension cord from the bathroom. The cord reels in calling into the floor like a snake. <laughs> Daru plugs his cell phone charging cable into the end of the extension cord. It starts charging, and I begin to wonder if it, if this is really okay. I came here right after exams were over for the day, and Dora immediately handed me this extension cord. Apparently, this is the solution to electricity issue. Several extension cords are connected together, passing through the bathroom window and plugged into the rear building. By sheer luck, the rear building hallway had a power stop. I just went over to plug it in. He said he's just borrowing a little. But I call that stealing electricity. When I bring that up... He says this, beaming. Even though he didn't tell me how they will deal with it. Anyway, they solved the electricity issue probably. I slowly carefully move the small saw up and down. But no matter what I do, it still makes some sound. What's important is making that sound as quiet as possible. I'm starting to learn the tricks. Progress is so slow that it's almost this, uh, this sheer hurting, but the hole is definitely getting bigger. I start work on Sunday. Yesterday and today, once I have finished my test in the morning, I came straight here. But because of that, I can review for my Japanese and social studies test today. Still, I think I managed to score above average on them. I have been devoting all my time to this. It seems like Daru is having a hard time on his end too. While the power issue had been solved, the agents outside will notice if he used it too openly. I keep hearing him complain under his breath about how he can even do tests to see if the time machine would work properly. It sounds like I'm not the only one holding things back, at least. The holes will break through the other side soon, after all. Right now, I'm swimming away at the ceiling boards on the first floor. I'd probably break through easily if I gave it a big stump, but that will make noise so I can't. Operating faster. Hurry up. I'm getting impatient. I grit my teeth. I whip the sweat dripping from my forehead. I continue to move the saw quietly, slowly. Then. You. Huh? You did it? I cut all the way through the first floor ceiling boards. I hold onto the cut out to keep it from falling. Then I haul it out to Daru, who was working off to the side. Maybe he recognized how capable I am at least a little. I feel like smiling. Oh. That walks over and looks down the hole. Even with the hole all the way through, the lower floor is pitch black and we can't see anything. The outside shutters are closed and there are no other windows, so it's only natural. <laughs> <laughs> I 
The gap is barely big enough for me to pass through. <laughs> For a TV. Okay, it's a very important TV, we know that. It sounds like he doesn't have any backup plan if it doesn't turn on. And honestly, I start thinking that not turning on may be for the best. But I think it's just anxiety over being involved in something this big. There's like a person from another world. I don't know for sure that he will even be here tomorrow. He may disappear completely, then keep the time machine with him. I don't even have the courage to ask him why he lied the other day. No matter how much he lies, he has no choice but to trust him. I have no choice. And that makes me anxious. I'd rather be in a situation where no progress can be made without me around. Anyway, I'm the one who has to descend to the lower floor. Using a rope, I bolt. I slowly drop down into the store. I use a pen light to illuminate the area. CRT TVs are peeled up, almost touching the ceiling. I could use them as footholds, but I feel like they tumble over the moment I touch them, so I don't. Dad will always get mad at me when I try touching the stacks of TVs. <laughs> the store is even dustier than the floor above. I feel like coughing, but I desperately hold it back. I look around the store again. I remember all of this. It's like it's been frozen in time since two years ago. The store I help always play at. Daddy's store. The chair he would always sit in is still right there. On the small table sits a newspaper from August of two years ago. I feel like crying. Is it because the dust is string in my eyes? Or because I remember daddy's face? I see Daru's face peering down from the hall above as he dangled the extension cord. I take it and walk toward the 42 inch TV at the back of the store. Oh weird, when I look at it now it doesn't seem that big, but two years ago I didn't think you could find a TV this big in the entire world. Of course it's still big compared to LCD TVs of the same screen size. I wonder if it's because I have grown, or because I'm used to seeing this massive TV in the Akiha family living room. Either way, it makes me kind of sad. Thinking of these things, I plug the 42 inch TV power cord into the extension cord socket. After a gold patcher pressing the main power switch at the bottom of the TV. Oh. I know exactly where the 42 inch TV remote is. It's on a shelf near the chair where, the, where dad will always sit. As always, that's where I found it. I swap in the brand battery star toast me, point it at the TV and press the power button. But the remote doesn't make it turn on either. I tried a few more times, but it was no good. Is this because I wish for this? I hope that it won't turn on. I should have done that. This TV is something that put his heart into maintaining. Uh, 
42がたがつかないんじゃ話にならんし。In a panic, I shot lowly. Shuri, what does she got to look at? She. I hurried to cover my mouth. Daru waves me over with his hand and lowers the rope down the hole. I climbed back to the upper floor. Back in the elementary school, I was pretty good at the climbing rope in the playground. Climbing up and down rope is easy now, how? After waiting for me to get back up, Daru opens his mouth. When I say this, Daru looks at me with d o u b l e in his eyes. Muri show that the Anno Terebino Oxaja, Sokono Anamo, Toile no Madamo Tose Naishi. Shut up, get a Sotoni Mochida Stella, Anno Kurof Kurentu in Mitskate out of the sea. Sotoni Mochida Sestionate, Nayo. Jo, Dorigo now soon. What does he got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Brown can tell me no shooting a shiloh o n i w a o s u s u m e d e k i n a i Wait, 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 wait. You asked her to go to search your stupid d o j i n s h i And you don't want her to fix a TV. Ipo much gareba, condense the shinukoto m o r t e k i t a w a k e d a g a Ah, okay. You are worried that she dies. Okay, sorry. So they were. ちゃんと放電できていれば大丈夫42型は2年間電源を入れてなかったよもしかして詳しい ?I know the enthusiast Kelly 昔お父さんにちょっとだけ教わったから、oh. でもちょっとだけっしょあらそうだけどでも Mm-hmm. That's right. What?Abunakunai?No.Condensatoka?Hughes?Tokka?Sonohewa?Watashimokuashkuakaranaikara?Ijirazuni?Ijirazuni? 電源回路のプリント基盤をチェックしようと思うそこが壊れてるかもしれんってこと劣化して半ダ割れしてるんじゃないかと I learned how to solder during handcrafting in elementary school and that told me a bit as well Uncle Dora had me buy a battery power soldering iron during the first shopping trip so I can use that だから基盤に Resoldering means adding more solder to already soldered connections. I remember that told me before that degradation over time can result in cracks forming in solder. So, I said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm それ以外はやらないやらないというかやれない Honestly tell him what I'm capable of だからやらせてください I look him straight in the eye and ask The r u l e t s out a little thing 今のセリフさもっと甘える感じで言ってみてくんない Oh my god shut up だろ I don't really understand what he means, but I know that it's something pervert. I glare at him and he stands up straight and forces a smile. He, 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 
剣がないっつうなら試してみる価値はあると思われうん頑張る I will do whatever I can First I have to remove the outer cover I use a screwdriver to remove the screws but it's pretty tough to see them with only a pen light the heat, stuffy air, and lack of sleep combine to dull my mind. I have been in here for almost 6 hours today. Staying for too long probably isn't good. I call up to the floor above without being too loud. Oh. Hmm? There box his head through the hole. It remind me of a upside down whack a mold machine. Right at the start he told me he had been abroad. But he also said he returned to Japan half a year ago. What was he doing in that time? Why did he did decide to return here in July? Before he told me he had business to take care of, but he won't tell me why it had to be Nam. Oh, so it's like it's like it's gonna be a big divergent point.過去最大規模の磁気嵐が来るかもって。もしそれが地球に到達したら電子機器とかバカになっちゃうわけで。壊れちゃうっていうこと。そう。しかも世界規模でね。太陽嵐で世界がやばい。的な。本当に来るの。
a breath of fresh air after staying in that dusty room for so long, it's while getting hard to breathe. In the end, my test results were mixed. My social studies test from day 2 was especially bad, just barely meeting the average score. But me who even tried consoling me. But I didn't learn my lesson, I even skipped my team activities to be here today. Somebody gonna be big problem. I couldn't help but make a sound. I focus on my fingertips, holding the pen light in my mouth. Why that music is sad? The soldering iron in my right hand and the solder in my left hand. I press the two together on the spot on the circuit board I want to solder, creating a little silver ball as the faint smell of melting lead wafts into the air. Yesterday and today, from after school until evening, I have been doing this delicate work in the dark store. The 42 inch TV circuit board is really big too. There are a huge number of spots with solder on them. I have spent several hours it since yesterday, but I have only resoldered about half. It's because I work so slow. Thinking like that makes me even more tense. I say I do this myself, and I think of it as my last chance at sending a email. I'm so nervous that I'm fingers are shaking. I guess my rooftop break didn't help. I let out a big scene. I wonder how Uncle Dar's work is coming along. If he's almost done, I may end up being cut off from the team. Nobody's gonna cut nobody from nowhere. Stop worrying about that, Diane. Speaking of which, I have been hearing quite chatters that I can't quite make out coming from upstairs for a while now. But there's the only one on the second floor? Oh, is he on the phone? Who's he talking to? The solder iron's battery are about to run out, so we check while I replace them. Oh, we're gonna discover something. When I climb to the second floor, I see Darryl cleaning in the sofa, not doing his work. He's munching on snacks while talking on the phone. <laughs> ユーズ聞かなすぎ笑ったもういいからさ今日中によろマジでじゃあついでにコミックエルをも頼めるおおマイガードえはオッケーユーズとパーティーワットハペンアルフォンアンダーザウィザーワントコムモンネットコムあお
Enough. Real enough. It's creepy. It's creepy. Neat to say, cause he always starts joking when he wants to dodge around an issue. なんのためにPutting one's life on the line. His joking attitude has always all but disappeared. Daru looks straight at me with a glint in his eyes. I don't think those are lion eyes. He, he t it's, what he gonna? After I push Daru big butt through the w bathroom window, we exit onto the sidewalk from the rear building and head to the station together. After walking for a while, I'm startled to see a man walking toward us from the front. I hurried to grab Daru by the hand and take over in the shadow of the staircase past the nearby ramen shop. Daru, shut up. I forcibly cover Staru mouth with my hand. I note. I saw that agent when I came here after school. He was in a car parked in front of that building then. So why he was walking through here? I can't believe we end up running into each other. I watch as the agent pass by the ramen shop and stop in front of the building we have been using to enter and exit. He sits on the sidewalk railing and start fiddling with his cell phone. He could spot us right away from there if we exit onto the sidewalk. And what's worse, he may attempt to check the building. If he goes up to the hallway on the second floor, he'd see the extension cord we plug into the power lab. He will definitely figure out that Daru's been there. I need to shift his attention. Do. And could Daru speak up from behind? Really, Daru, if 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 you're gonna do something stupid, and we're gonna go to all this trouble, I'm I'm already mad with you, Daru, but. I'm gonna take a rock and I'm gonna throw it to you. Okie dokie. I remember some someone using that strange expression before. <gasps> Suzuha, ah. the part time here. I only knew her for a short time. I wonder what she's doing now. And then I never actually got to ride her bike. With that in mind, I walk onto, out onto the sidewalk, looking on child. Right then, I see the angel put away his cell phone and stand up to enter the building. No. Uh, uh, no. I reflexive speak to him. The agent seems startled and looking my direction. My heart's pounding. I feel like it's going to come flying out of my mouth, but I have to do something. I muster my courage and walk towards the agent. What should I do if he captures me? What if he stabs me? <laughs> my knees shake. Ano, 
Our conversation frees up. I need to keep it going. I need him to stay focused on me. I check on the ramen shop out of the corner of my eyes. There, I see Daru hurrying out to the sidewalk. The agent suddenly brushed me aside and tried to walk away. No, if he goes that way, he will find Daru. My mind went blank. Without releasing it, I was standing in the agent's way. Tell her, Nae. Yes. Yes. Then the agent cell phone rings. Hi. 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 Yukai. Yukai. Hi. Hi. Yukai. Then the agent gives the person calling him some vague response and. He clicks his tongue at me and walks off in the opposite direction. He should bump into Daru if he goes that way. <sighs> Did we manage to get off scot free? I don't see Uncle Daru anywhere. After looking around, I weakly crunch down and curl up on the spot. My heart's still racing. I take a few deep breaths. Anyway, I need to contact Daru. We had decided beforehand that if we got split up, we will make contact by phone and find a way to meet up. After calling the number that Daru gave me before we left the lab. Uh -huh. There's a long silence. Normally you hear the ringtone. I tilt my head in puzzle, then... <laughs> おかけになった電話番号は現在使われておりません。番号をお確かめになってお did I type it the wrong number when I put it him in my phone? I can't believe I make a mistake like this. I hate myself. What should I do? I gave Daru my phone number so he may call me eventually. But just in case, should I just wait for him at the lab? As I think, a real flexible stand up with a start. I look around. There are a lot passing cars and a good number of pedestrians. They all pass me 
by without so much as a glaze. What if? What should I do if Daru doesn't come back? Daru tried to start packing up the moment he learned the 42 inch TV didn't work. I stopped him, saying that I could repair it. But what if he doesn't believe me? What if he just vanished? I have no way of contacting him. I can't do anything about it. All I can do is wait. Wait all alone for someone who will never return. Unable to stand it, I desperately hold onto my own body. I'm so anxious, it's crushing me. Am I going to be left alone again? Something happening and ending without me even knowing. Only learning about it later. It's lonely and sad and painful. Of course, there's no guarantee that I will never come back. He couldn't have come far yet. I'm sure I will find him right away. It's evening now, so there are more people walking on the streets. Daru stands out though. I had noticed if I saw him walking around. I tried looking inside the parts shop we hid in before, but I didn't see him around, and the employee said he hadn't seen him either. Besides Rumihi, there is only one other lab man from two years ago who left in this town, Luca. Her house is at the Bashi Shrine across Mansei Bashi. I figured that Rumi may have gone to visit his old fellow lab man and dropped by. But Luca was away at college and her family said that nobody like Daru had visited them. It's getting dark. I can't find him. I can't do anything. It's impossible to find a single person in a town this big without any clues. And given that I can't find him after all this searching, Daru has probably already left Akihabara. In the end, not sure where to go, I came back here. I thought Daru may have come back, it was just a teeny flicker of hope. But... After sneaking through the bathroom to get in, I didn't see him anywhere. No. <laughs> I opened the door to the shower room just in case, but nobody was inside. I sit down on the sofa and fatigue suddenly washes over me. I can only wait. I'm sure that will come back. I just have to believe and wait. To be honest, I should have headed home by now. But I won't want to miss Daru by doing that. My body completely exhausted after running around everywhere, but I managed to stand up and head downstairs. However, my crushing anxiety makes it so I can focus on my work. ま、それにしても羽目を外しすぎにゃ。中学生なんだから何時に帰ればいいかはちゃんと自分で判断しなきゃダメだにゃ。それよりお姉ちゃん、ダロおじさんから連絡あった。いや、ダロにゃ。そ
It's not like I'm staying out late just to stay out late. It's just really frustrating that I can even search for someone by myself. There aren't many people left in Akihabara. All of the shops are closing up. Once all of the shutters close, the sidewalks get dark. Even as I walk back, I'm still looking for signs of Daru. I look at the face of every man who passes by, but he's not here. Not anywhere. He's gone. Then, when I was below UPX, Akihabara was old but desert. At the table of an open cafe with no other customers, I see a large frame sitting there. The silhouette alone was enough. There's no mistake in that sign. I instinctively run up to him. I was searching so desperately for him, but he greets me without the slightest hint of concern. But as I say this, I release that there was someone with Daru, someone I never seen, not a lab man. He's wearing a classy suit like a big shot salary man, but he doesn't seem that much older than Daru. He has sharp eyes and kind of reminds me of a snake. In his hand is a bank envelope. Who is this man? Is he the person that was talking to on the phone before leaving? Just based on the atmosphere here, that doesn't seem to be the case. Daru says this too, I assume, and their conversation, the snake man hands Daru the envelope with, without saying a word. He stands up, then after taking a glance at me, bows silently and walk off. Uh, shut up, Daru. Despite Daru's shooting this, the snake man doesn't even look back, dis disappearing in the direction of the station. He didn't even try to say anything. It was a little creepy. Hmm. A collaborator. Daru ends his explanation door and starts up in a hurry. He looks around, then starts walking off swiftly as if I'm not even here. I can understand why he's in a hurry given that the agents are after him, but it's like he's ignored me and it's pretty hurtful. で、わして合流するって話だったでしょ。2時間ぐらいあちこち探したんだけど、見つからなくて、ラボで待ってたの。私の方から連絡できなかったのはごめんなさい。携帯に連絡先を登録したとき、番号を間違えちゃったみたい
ここで言う腐るってのは不助手的な意味じゃないんでとにかく僕はそろそろ我慢ならなくなってたわけ電話レンジ作ってる場合じゃねえって、okay. とにかくこの2年近く全くチェックできてない新作エロゲーをプレイしたりとかエロ同人買いあさったりとかアニメ全話視聴マラソンとかしたいんだおでもお金なんて全くないっしょだからこうしてカンパしてくれる協力者に来てもらったってわけそのためにそうそうそのために今日は出かけたんだお Okay, all of that work just for this. どうしてあなちゃんしないちゃんしこの札束持ってさちょっと僕の頬を叩いてくんない一度やられたかった I'm sorry but I can't Have enough of Daru in this world line for real in another level? Not even in his world line, he was so this headache person that makes headacheiness and pervertiness towards Nai. Nai. My vision blurs. He's looking at me like I'm the one causing him trouble. I get even angrier at him. I was crying before I release it. I wipe my tear with the back of my hand. I said all there was to say. I ran off in the opposite direction from Daru. I didn't even look back. Making sure to avoid eye contact with Rumi who rush into my room. Once I'm inside, I curl up in the corner of my bed. I'm tired. Between Daru and my exams, I haven't gotten any decent sleep for an entire week. I will take the day off school tomorrow just to sleep. Then I will get back to my regular life. I will go back to spending every day with the wonderful people of the Akiha family. That's the life of the 13 year old in Ojin Nai. I shouldn't associate myself with such a strange animal. It's better this way. <laughs> Thinking about today's events making me start crying again. I hurry to bury my face into my knees. I didn't tell her it was okay to enter but Rumi <laughs> comes right into the room and sits next to me on the bed. What's that? 
I shook my head, is still hiding my face, but I can do that. それを言わないお姉ちゃんは、お姉ちゃんじゃないよ。<笑> Rumiho gentle stroked my head. She rests my head on her shoulder. I feel her warmth. I'm not going to be able to hold back my tears. Rumiho, I know that until Rumi who everything that happened over the last week, getting caught up in my emotions several times along the way. The whole time she kept gently rubbing my back. Thanks to her warmth, I felt a lot better by the time I finished the story. ミライ もちろん。<笑> After hearing these unexpected words, I look at Rumiho's face. She's smiling, but her smile looks so sad. That's right. Rumiho was a lab man too. She must have had much deeper ties to them than I ever did. But she's here now, living her life in Akihabara. She didn't go away. Also, until I told her just now, she had no idea that Daru was back in Akihabara. It seemed like she didn't hear anything from Daru or Karin.私は悲しかった。何も知らないでいた自分。何も教えてもらえなかった自分。お父さんにも誰にも信じてもらえてなかった自分。そういう自分が嫌だった。私がもっとちゃんとしてたら、もっと大人だったら。
ちゃんと守られていたからだよ守られていた少なくとも苗のお父さんは苗を守るために亡くなったんだと思う2年前あなたのお父さんがあの日自分で命を絶ったあの日ね私のパパのところを訪ねてきたんだよえどんな話をしたのかは私は立ち会わなかったからはっきりとはわからないけれど苗のことを頼むって苗のことばかり心配していたってパパはそう言ってたわ、うん、あなたのお父さんは誰かに追われているみたいだっただからきっと苗を巻き添えにしないためにそんなの勝手だよ親というのはそういうものだって私のパパが言ってた自分の子供を危険な目に遭わせないためならどんなことでもするんだってそれに友達だってそう大事な友達を危ないことに巻き込まないようにするために本当のことを黙っていたり優しい嘘をついたりするのそういうことができる友達を持つことができたらそれはとっても幸せなことなんだよ I wonder if that's how Rumiho feels about all the love memes who disappeared 私は2年前当事者じゃなくてよかったって今は思ってるあの頃京馬の様子がおかしかったことはなんとなく気づいてたけど京馬 That was the weird name that Uncle Lucarin gave himself. もし私が彼と同じ立場だったら心が壊れちゃっていたと思う守ってくれたみんなに感謝しているわ寂しそうな顔してるのに私の中では感謝と寂しさは矛盾してないのどうして I don't understand how she can feel both. Sabishkute, Mune no Oku got your pity, Juku Juku itamuno, eh? Sono Hito no Kyoko, Jibun no Kokoro no Fukaku ni Shikarito Kizan de Rusaitu da Kara. Kokoro te you canvas ni Kiena and Pits de Isho no Koro Kizo Sketerno. Watashi no Kokoro ni mo? So. その傷はねいつかかさぶたになってそれからお花が咲くんだよかさぶたからお花は咲かないよ本当に<笑>苗は見たことないない私はあるよあるような気がする夢だったかもしれないけど苗の心にもちゃんと咲くよお花それまではね置いていかれたことを寂しく思いながらその傷を抱えながら同時にありがとうって感謝して毎日を生きていかなきゃそうしたら苗がダルニャンと再会したみたいにまたばったりどこかで会えるかもしれないでしょ天国にいるお父さんとも会えるかな会えるよきっと。Romeo looks straight into my eyes and say this decisively. どう私の目は嘘をついているように見えるうん。ルミホお姉ちゃんは嘘をついてる。でも、優しい嘘だね。でしょダルニャンもきっと嘘ついてる男の人って嘘をつくのが下手だから私苗の話を聞いて簡単に見抜けちゃった<笑>ルミホスマイルスミッシュチーフィー同人誌を買いに行かせたりとか教えた電話番号を間違えたとかいちいち軽い言動とか
苗を巻き込みたくないって思ってるのがバレバレだよそうなのダルニャンは苗がその黒服の人たちに捕まっちゃった時のことを考えてたんじゃないかなもし番号を知ってたら苗もダルニャンの仲間だと思われていろいろひどいことをされてたかもしれないだからあえて間違った番号を教えた私の推測でしかないけどね I see so he may have done it on purpose is it because he doesn't trust me or because he wants to protect me or it is whatever I decide it is もしかしてひょっこりラボに行ってみたらまだ一人でタイムマシンを作ってるかもしれないよ私はどうしたらいいのもしタルおじさんがそう思ってるならやっぱりもうお父さんのビルには行かない方がいいんだよね当事者にはどうやってもなれないままなんだそうね今回に関しては私もダルニャンの考えと同じよ今日もダルニャンもまっとうな人生を捨ててやろうとしていることがあるみたいだからでもナエあなたは違うお父さんが望んだ通りこれからも普通に生きていってほしい少なくとも今はね今はそう今はまだナエは傍観者のままでいなさいいつかあなたも当事者として決断を迫られる時が来るでもそれはまだ先うんあでも傍観者だからって関わり合いになっちゃダメだなんてことはないんだよあおえ After saying this, Rumiho stands up from the bed. She gently struck my head again. There's something that grown from inside me. That reminds me I haven't eaten since lunch. When I stand up, I give Rumiho a hug. What should I do? It's up to me. Okay, guys, we gonna let it till here, and tomorrow we finish it. Now I have learned how to feel when we are near to the ending section of the world line. I have learned now when you're at the last world line. Really? Okay, I'm kind of slow in learning, <laughs> uh, but better than never. Yeah, right? No? Okay. <laughs> Okay, in this episode, the Taru was extreme pervert. I don't care what 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 was his motive to be in an extreme level of pervertiness. It was him from a 13 year old. Like, yeah, it, it was a lot. I don't care. It was just so she isn't worry or don't have the tense vibe on the atmosphere or things like that. I really don't care, it was a lot, you can, I don't know, joke about other things, or whatever, or, or not be so pervert, my god, it was, it was, uh, he got on my nerves, Daru, really, he got on my freaking nerves, but Faris, Faris is the best, for real, Faris is the best, so yeah, guys, tomorrow, the end of Phenogram, and after tomorrow, <laughs> I'm so freaking excited and nervous and then I'm like oh, oh, oh. We're gonna talk about my feeling about zero tomorrow when we finish this ah. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching 
and see you in the next one. If you guys want. I don't know.